timbers as the sea goes down on the yonder. Uh, hello? Hey, make it a review! Stop! Um, hello? Welcome back to Taylor Reviews. I, today I'm reviewing The Lighthouse. This is a really good movie. It has starred Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe in it. Um, two, by the way, phenomenal actors. I knew Willem Dafoe was a good actor before this. Do like other stuff, you know. It's Willem Dafoe. But Robert Pattinson, I knew he was like from Twilight and stuff. Didn't really know much. Knew he was going to be Batman. But this movie was like, wow, he is good. He is a good actor. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot to, like, this movie's really complex in uh, everything, how it's made, how it's set up, and it's supposed to convey a lot of meanings and messages that I am too stupid to understand, really. And so, I won't. Uh, I'll just say I like the movie, even though I didn't understand it. Even though I didn't understand the movie. Um, but it was good. Um, I enjoyed the performances. The acting was phenomenal in this movie. Um, he was talking about farts at one point, and I was so moved. Uh, really, that's really... He was talking about farts, and it was like, wow, that is powerful. But, um... Yeah, I enjoyed the movie for what it was. Um, I, it was very strongly acted. Uh, it's only two characters in the entire film. Mark Pattinson and Will I forgot their names, though. I don't... I'm not good at remember, remembering movie characters' names, and I forgot them. I'll be honest with you, and I feel bad about it. I, I don't know why I'm so terrible at it. So the whole setup is it's two lighthouse keepers um, on in the lighthouse, and they have to just not go crazy. And they're pretty bad at not going crazy, so they go insane in, instead of not going insane. And um, at one point, a lot of stuff happens. You see this brotherhood form with them and then immediately unravel. And it's pretty tragic to see the like duality of man between these two, like, semen. <sighs> oh, made a big lunch before this review. Um, but yeah, um, good movie. Uh, there's not much to really say because there's a lot of confusing things in it for me. Because I'm dumb. Like, who knows, the message could have been as simple as, uh, brush your teeth. But, uh, for me, it showed something of, I don't know. It conveyed me a lot of stuff like lust at one point uh, with the mermaid. Like it used this mermaid to convey like horny, I think, which is weird. And there was like this one scene. I swear to God, they were trying to make it look like they were about to kiss each other. I I I'm not into like random romances, like or even like forcing like um, LGBTQ romances on two characters for no reason. But like I swear they were advertising it like they were waiting to kiss and just didn't. I'M MAKING A REVIEW! STOP! But yeah, um... Um, yeah, pretty good. Um... Good movie, I would say. Um... Yeah, it was a strongly... Uh, man, I'm sorry. Uh, sidetrack. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I think the two perform the performances matched well. It's just a lot of good in it, but I'm also stupid, so I didn't get it. Also, uh, the movie is filmed entirely in black and white in a very small aspect ratio, so that made it feel like a um, Alfred Hitchcock film, like one of those older horror movies, like Psycho or whatever. And I think it worked, paid off very spectacularly. It wasn't really, it didn't really feel. Yeah, I didn't think it held the movie back at all. In, th in, case, in fact, I think it improved the eeriness of the film. And made it um, much more just different from other horror movies. This was made by the A24 company. Uh, they made other horror. They produced other horror movies like uh, Midsummer and Hereditary. I actually haven't seen Hereditary, but I did see Midsummer, and I liked that one. I know some people didn't, but I thought they did. I saw on the moist meter. He was like, "Weird movie. I didn't like it." But I was like, "Yeah, it's weird, but not like an unenjoyable weird, but like a good one." Like I'm not going to review Midsummer because you don't get free reviews from me. This is not. Uh, stuff I've seen. This is um, Taylor Reviews, and I reviewed the one thing, which is The Lighthouse, a great film. Um, but, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, good movie. Uh, that's the review, so what I'm going to give it is a 8 out of 10 Mermaid Tales. Very good movie. Um, yeah. Hello, welcome back to Taylor Reviews. Welcome back to Taylor Reviews.
Hello, welcome back to Taylor Reviews. Hello, welcome back to Taylor Reviews.